Features of File Management File Management It is very important to know about managing the files and folders in computer. Windows 10 is very advanced and it is very easy to manage files and folders. You can copy, move, rename and also delete any file or folder. Copying a file or folder Sometimes you need to copy a file or folder from one place to another on the computer. Remember that you cannot keep a duplicate file or folder with same name in a folder. You can copy it and keep the duplicate file or folder in any other folder or disk. For example, if you want to copy a folder named Final Project 2016-2017 from E drive and keep the same as duplicate in D drive, then take the step. Click on the File Explorer in Start menu. Explore the drive or folder in which your original file or folder is existing. For example, we can find our Final Project 2016-2017 folder in E drive. Click it to select. Right click the mouse and select Copy option from the right click menu. No more. You can also use Ctrl plus C keys as shortcut for copying the file or folder. Pasting a file or folder. Once you copy a file or folder, it requires to be pasted where you want to keep the duplicate of it. By use of copy command, the file or folder goes to a hidden temporary memory known as clipboard. So if you have copied any file or folder, you can paste it at many places by using paste command. The method of pasting is Click on the file explorer in start menu and explore the disk or folder where you want to keep the duplicate file or folder. For example, we can explore the F drive. Right click with the mouse and select the paste option from the right click menu. Then your file or folder appears as shown. No more. You can also use Ctrl plus V keys as shortcut for pasting the file or folder. Moving a file or folder. When you copy paste the file or folder, the duplicate file or folder is created. If you want to move a file or folder from one to another place, then you can use cut and paste command. The paste command will be used very same as used with copy command in previous instance. Let us learn how to use cut command for moving the file or folder. Open the file explorer and select the file or folder that you want to move. Right click by mouse and select cut option from the right click menu. Go to the disk and folder where you want to keep the shifted file or folder. Then use the paste command using right click menu. Thus, the file or folder will be copied to a new destination and will be removed from the original place. No more. You can also use Ctrl plus X keys as shortcut for cut command. Renaming a file or folder. You can change name of a file or folder. It is specially needed when you want to keep a duplicate file in the same folder. Because with the same name, a file or folder cannot be kept in a drive or folder. To rename the file or folder, the steps are Select the file or folder that you want to give a new name. 
For example, we can change name of final project 2016-2017 folder and give it a new name project 2016-2017. Right click with the mouse and select rename option from the right click menu. The name of the file or folder will be highlighted with blue color. Type the new name. Then click anywhere outside the window. Thus, new name will appear in place of old one. Deleting a file or folder. Sometimes you may need to delete unused file or folders to keep the disk space free for other important work. It is very simple as just click that file or folder and when it is selected, just press the delete button from the keyboard. You can also delete a file or folder by using right click menu. Select the file or folder that you want to delete. Right click the mouse and select the delete option from the right click menu. A dialog box will be prompted where you can select yes button to give permission of deletion. Then the selected file or folder will be deleted. No more. When you delete a file or folder, it goes in a temporary folder named recycle bin. If you have deleted any file or folder accidentally, you can recover it from the recycle bin until it is deleted from there. Recovering a file or folder from recycle bin. Recycle bin is a folder where the deleted files or folders are preserved for certain time so that they can be recovered after accidental deletion. Normally, the recycle bin folder appears on the desktop of the windows. You can recover the deleted item until it is not removed from recycle bin. So, you must recover it as soon as possible. The method of recovering the file or folder is Select the recycle bin on the desktop by clicking it. Right click on the recycle bin. A right click menu will appear. Click on the open option. Then the recycle bin will open and you will see all the previously deleted files and folder. Select the file or folder that you want to recover. Right click the mouse and select restore from the right click menu. Thus the previously deleted file or folder will be restored on the original place. You can also open recycle bin by double click on recycle bin icon. Searching a file or folder. If you want to search a file or folder in your computer, then you will do the steps. Open the file explorer from the start menu. If you know the disk, then select it. Otherwise, click on this PC button and then type the file or folder name that you want to search. For example, we can search Final Project 2016-2017 folder. So typing its name in search box. After hitting Enter key, wait for some time. When the search will be completed, the file or folder will appear on the screen. Not tempering others file or folder. We do a lot of efforts to create a document in computer. We also generate data which is very valuable and important for us. Think if someone deletes it from your computer, then how will you feel? Not only you will feel angry, but also you will have to do same work again that may take several days or months. To avoid such situations, we all should respect privacy of others. Neither we should share our passwords and other secret things with others, nor 
we should try to know about others private things we should never open copy or delete others work on the computer even we should not open unknown files and folders as it tempers the privacy of others accidentally and by mistake remember that only open copy and delete only your own files or folders but not which are unknown to you if you delete any program file like windows it may damage the software and system may break down so just open move copy and delete only your known files and folders